we have had a good third quarter uh, as you can see from our numbers uh, we have grown our uh, business by more than 18 percent and our profit has also grown more than 25 percent uh, our focus as usual is on building our value-added services and uh, our warehousing and value-added services have also grown 33 percent this quarter and as we grow our warehousing and value-added services, we keep expanding our margins as that is the uh, service that gives you larger margin. So that's been kind of the numbers uh, for us. Uh, the focus, of course, continues to be on the post-GST consumer and e-commerce industry where uh, most of them are looking at uh, redesigning their networks, most of them bringing in large distribution centers into the country. And we are participating in those uh, with our customers. Right, transport business, more than 20% growth. If you take a look at the revenue here, what's the sort of uh, revenue mix, uh, uh, sort of client mix in that category? And uh, how do you actually want to diversify further? So as an industry, logistics in India has 90% transportation and 10% warehousing and value-added services. Uh, an, an ideal mix for us uh, as we grow our business should be around 80% of where, uh, transportation and 20% uh, warehousing on our overall business. And specific to our uh, non-Mahindra business, we'd like to make that split at 70-30. And uh, I think uh, every quarter we are making an endeavor to grow uh, our non uh, Mahindra warehousing and uh, value-added services. What are the kind of opportunities you are seeing at present in the people transport solution business? As I said at the beginning, uh, this quarter has been the best quarter for our people transport solutions. They have crossed 100 crores in this quarter, which is uh, the first time they uh, ever did that. Um, there is huge opportunities coming up because as you know that industry uh, where we move people from the residence to the offices basically in the IT BPO segment has about 33 to 40 percent uh, lady employees and security is uh, one of the most important criteria for these companies as most of these employees work at night. And for them to give this kind of a business in the hands of a player like Mahendra uh, can make them sleep at rest at night. So we see huge opportunity going ahead. Right. And Mr. Sarkari, last question. Uh, what's the overall outlook for the rest of FY19 and FY20? Should the street get used to 15 to 20% growth or 10 to 15% is going to be the norm? So as I kept maintaining uh, through the year, uh, we will uh, look at growing this business uh, more than the industry growth. Uh, industry uh, has been stated to this year anywhere between 10 to 15 percent and we will look at growing our business at uh, those rates. Uh, moving ahead, uh, while I would not like to give any projections, but uh, there is tremendous opportunity in the industry. Um, it's a six trillion rupee industry stated to grow to nine trillion rupees. And uh, any player who takes the leadership position of organizing the unorganized will, uh, the business will be limitless for them. So let's hope we can do that. Mr. Zagari, uh, thanks a lot for coming on the show and giving us insights into how the third quarter, such a strong performance, uh, has been for you, all the wishes for you for the fourth quarter. Uh